It's Patrick Legreed from Half Wheel, and this is the ST DuPont LeGrand DuPont Perfect Ping, also called the LeGrand DuPont Cling here in the US. It's a lighter I have been waiting years to get my hands on, quite literally, as it was roughly six years ago in 2017 when ST DuPont began showing the early versions of this design off, but this version only came to the US at the end of 2022. Now, you may be looking at this lighter, you may be looking at buying this lighter. You may even own an earlier version of this lighter, and you may be saying to yourself that it doesn't quite look the same as the one you own or are considering owning or have seen elsewhere, and that's because there have been some adjustments made over the years. If you flip the lighter over and you see a round valve cover and a round flame adjuster, you have the new model. The logo is also different. It's in parallel lines right there, as opposed to kind of looking like a cigar band on earlier versions. There are also some changes with the lid, the size, and the weight of the lighters, as well as the flame mechanism and the flint cover under here. Those, though, are a bit more nuanced and hard to show off here. Then there's the ping, or cling sound, which varies a bit from model to model. Now, my colleague, Charlie Minato, shot a video of several models and the sounds they make. All right, so with all that out of the way, let's get to what makes this lighter special. Well, aside from the ST DuPont name and what comes with that, it's the fact that this is a two-in-one lighter offering both a single jet torch and a dual soft flame. Before we get to the flames, let's get to the specs. This measures 2.6 by 1.53 by 0.55 inches and weighs in at a hefty 6.7 ounces. The ST DuPont LeGrand DuPont Perfect Ping comes in four color options with varying prices. This is called Yellow Gold Diamond Head. It's $1,495 according to the ST DuPont website. There's also a Palladium Diamond Head version that is also $1,495. And then there is the Black Lacquer and Palladium version, which is $1,695. And if you want to go to the top end, there is the Blue Lacquer and Palladium version that is $1,795. But be warned, if you're looking for the ST DuPont ping or cling sound, you'll want to stay with the two diamond head versions as the lacquer options do not offer the ping as you heard in the video earlier. Now, let's get to how the lighter works. First, you flip up the lid. That starts the flow of butane. And remember, if the lid is up, butane is flowing. So be sure to close it if you don't want to empty your tank. Then you push the roller ignition to provide the spark from the flint, which is under here. So you push this and you are provided with a dual soft flame. As you can see, I have this turned down a little bit, but you can definitely see two flames there. And then to get to the torch, all you're gonna do is take the ignition right there, or the little cylinder, you're gonna push up, and there you have it, a single jet torch. Now let's turn the lights down a little bit, give you that one more time. So I'm gonna close the lighter, reopen it, flick the ignition, and there's your dual soft flame coming out right there, push up on the ignition cylinder, and there you have a single jet torch. If you release it, back to soft flame, and you can just keep doing that and fiddling with it until your heart's content or you run out of butane. So there you go. All right, let's turn the lights back up. Now, in my experience, most of which comes from smoking indoors lately, because it is summertime out here in Phoenix, I found myself using the torch to get an even toasting of the foot and then the soft flames to move into the smoking phase. Now, personally, I love the idea of a soft flame, but practically it has just too many drawbacks for it to be my everyday lighter. Yet when I can use one, or in this case, am forced to use one, I enjoy it immensely, breezes notwithstanding. In terms of other features, there aren't many. There's no cutter. There's also no fuel windows, you can see. One of my favorite things. But 
one of the things that I do like about this is that the lighter has a very slow reduction in flame height that signals the need for a refill. It's not great, but it's also not the worst I've ever seen. So if you notice your flame getting progressively lower, probably means it's time to refill it. Now, the other thing that you'll want to be aware of is that this does have a flint and that is tucked right under there. Now, I had a very interesting experience with this. I got the lighter early summer and started to use it. And then I noticed I could not get the ignition to spin. It was literally grinding into itself. So took the lighter up to the PCA convention trade show, stopped by the S2 DuPont booth, and turned out I needed a new flint. Very easy to replace. And as such, ST DuPont even includes a screwdriver with your lighter purchase. And while I won't get into all the specifics here, it is for that screw right there. And then the flint is under there. You basically swap it out. You can get eight for six or seven bucks on the ST DuPont website. And uh, that's how you get your lighter up and running if the flint stops or it grinds or it's not aligned perfectly or something like that. Not terribly hard, but just something to be aware of. Beyond that, uh, the fuel valve is under here and it is under this little plate right here. So if you're going to be refilling your lighter, Number one, you want some better fingernails than I have at the moment because that little latch is gonna take a second for me to... So now you can see it is up, you twist, and again, please make sure that you are somewhere where you're not gonna see this thing fall into the couch cushions because it is tiny, it is relatively lightweight, but there is your fuel valve, your flame adjuster is right there, it works the same way, though it does not have the little cover, and then you put this back in. One note on the butane, it is, expensive it's about 20 that says just under 30 dollars a can for about 30 milliliters which is a super high premium if you want to use the official st dupont butane i'm not going to say that you can't use other butanes with this but i will tell you that st dupont requests that you use their butane so there you have it that's the st dupont the grand dupont perfect ping or the, the grand dupont cling if you're in the u.s a luxury lighter that is certainly worthy of consideration if you're in the market for such an accessory. Be sure to read my full review on halfwheel.com and for the best coverage of the premium cigar industry, head over to halfwheel.com.